Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the um, lightweight bout in the Bellator X Risen showcase card between Patricky Pitbull versus Roberto De Souza. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going average confidence, um, Roberto De Souza to beat Patricky Pitbull. And um, you might say, oh, confidence be higher, this and that, but. I think Patricky Pitbull, he's not an easy guy to sleep on or just try to walk over unless he's going in with like, like Uzman or Magomedov or maybe, uh, um, what's his name, AJ McKee. But Roberto D'Souza is not as, a complete, not as complete of a fighter as those guys. And um, yeah, and also not like Patricky Pitbull is a guy with bad BJJ or, I mean, you know, not like you need bad BJJ for Roberto D'Souza to beat you. Roberto D'Souza has some real solid BJJ. He's a real solid competitor and that's why I'm picking him. But... I'm saying that Pitbull is still a very big issue guy. He's one of the most prolific finishers in Bellator history. And really, when you look at it, one of, one of the most prolific finishers in all of MMA history. So when you really look at this, don't be like, look at look at it through a UFC lens. I didn't really look at this guy as a real good finisher. Very dangerous. Good tag defense. Solid BJJ. He's a real good competitor. But his age and the momentum not really on the sides. Um, D'Souza, you know, looked pretty good against AJ McKee in a very close fight, to be honest. Or well, AJ McKee Jr., let me just say Jr. Style. So your nigga's the dad, <laughs> but um, AJ McKee Jr. Or oh, it's Anthony McKee. It's not, his name not even AJ to be in. It's Anthony McKee. Then AJ McKee Jr. So it's a whole different people. But but yeah, I think it's a very competitive fight. I think it'll be very scrappy, but I think D'Souza will find crafty ways to get it to the ground. I think he'll be able to get a significant amount of control. To the, 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 I'm doubling my words. He'll be able to find crafty ways to get it to the ground. I think he'll surprise a lot of people on the feet, maybe even dropping Patricky at one point, because Patricky probably going to not respect his grappling too much. I mean, not striking it too much. Or, you know, combination, not the respect the striking him too much, nor his power. And to be so much more, probably keep his head low, try to defend the takedown and catch him with big shots and big knees. And then um, Roberto Souza probably going to be able to catch him at one point, drop him, probably spin to his back, go deep for a submission. But I think Patricky going to defend him pretty well. But it's going to end up giving positions up. And yeah, to see a pretty scrappy fight. Um, the Souza having moment on the feet. Um, his, like Roberto De Souza having his moment on the feet. Patricky having his moments in the fight. But ultimately, I think Patricky, not Patricky, I think ultimately Roberto De Souza's going to have more moments. I think those, that control time is going to be significant. I think he'll go for some good submission attempts. But I think um, Patricky will be able to defend well. But at the end of the day, he's giving up position. And also, again, when he's giving up, like kind of respecting the grappling too much and not respecting the striking, I think that will open up the opportunity for De Souza to crack him on the feet and get some points in that as well, but nonetheless, very competitive fight, but Roberto D'Souza being able to get those grappling, those, um, go for those submission attempts, getting that positional advantage, and ultimately controlling most of this fight, and winning, winning, let me stop, my words, like, blah, 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 why your words vibrate, like, blah, 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 blah. but ultimately, Roberto D'Souza controlling most of this fight, and getting his hand raised, in a decision victory, sir, so, I sir, I'm gonna sound like Medea, I don't know who I'm trying to sound like now, my voice is Maybe I'm not real. Maybe I'm a robot and I'm glitching. But anyway, in this one, I have Roberto D'Souza via decision. 